Hey guys, Brian the Cell Phone Guy here again. Today we're going to take a look at the newest offering from the Sonom company and that is the XP3 flip phone. Now this is a quite similar device to the XP5S that we reviewed a couple of months ago except with a different form factor. It's the first uh, flip that Sonom has come out with this year and uh, we'd like to walk you through it. So let's just take a quick glance at the phone first and then we'll get into some of the individual features. Now the first thing we'll notice when we look at the back of the phone, once you have the cover off, uh, you're going to see two SIM card slots, number one and number two. You're also going to see a micro SD expansion slot and you're going to see a couple of brass dots down there and those are for auxiliary charging in a gang charger. So let me show you first off how to put the SIM card in and this is just a little bit difficult but once you get the hang of it it's it's quite simple. Now it's important to know that although this phone has two SIM card slots at least here in Canada dual SIM technology isn't supported so you have to make sure that you get the SIM card into the right slot. In other countries where dual SIM is available, then you're able to put the SIM card into either slot. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to slide this little silver door this direction and angle it up and then we're going to take the SIM card and we're going to put it in close the door and slide the tab this way to lock it in. Now it's important to realize that the cutoff corner on the SIM is in the top right hand corner. Then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the battery and put it into the phone and then we're going to take the back housing. Now it clips in at the top, snaps together at the bottom and then you have to tighten this screw to lock it into place. Now I'm just going to leave the cover off for now because it fits better in this little holder I have um, without the back cover on. So to turn the phone on you simply push the red button and wait for it to vibrate and then it'll fire up and we'll just give it a second to turn on. Now it's important to realize that this phone is intended as a voice device. It is running a modified version of Android and it will do some very simple uh, data tasks, but it's not intended for that. This is intended for the person who wants to make phone calls and who wants to send messages. And most importantly, as with all Sonom phones, it's intended for those who want to use a push to talk service. Now, in the States, uh, Sprint calls their push to talk service uh, Direct Connect Plus. ATT refers to it as EPTT, so Enhanced Push to Talk. And on the TELUS network, we have an app called ES Chat. Now, one of the beauties of this phone is that by the time it launches in early August, it's going to be coming pre configured with ES Chat for all the Canadian market. Uh, the ones in the States were released back in, uh, in May, and they will have whatever. Uh, push to talk service that your preferred carrier handles. But in Canada, it's going to be ES Chat. So let's take a look at the outside of the phone first. So on the left hand side of the phone, we see the giant push to talk button. Underneath that, we have the volume up and the volume down. On this side, we have a standard USB C charging port and a three and a half millimeter jack. Now, on the back of the phone, you'll notice these two dots, and those are auxiliary ports for charging when you put it into a gang charger. So let's take a look at the keypad now. We're going to see on the typical um, one to nine keypad, we've got the normal, just a normal keypad layout. We have the end, which is also the power off, and we have the send. We have clear, we have the uh, speaker button, we have the backup one screen button. This is the app tray, and this is the menu. And then this is the navigation button. So you have up, down, left, right, and enter. So if you were to, for example, push the, the app tray button, it's gonna open up the apps and you navigate through the apps just as you would any other phone with up and down and select enter to uh, select that. If you wanna get out of there, you just push this. Now, in Canada, these phones come with two languages, which is English and French. And in the States, they come with two languages, which is English and Spanish. And how you switch between those languages is with the star key. So let's just get into a, um, let's get into a text message here. So you push the menu button, 
select new message, uh, type in your phone number, go down to the message type. Now, if you push the star key and hold it, it's going to give you a choice of English or French, or in the States, it's going to give you a choice of English and Spanish. And then you just select that. Now, the other thing you have to remember on this phone, very similar to the XP5S and any other uh, flip phone that you've ever used, is the T9 texting. So if you look up here on the screen, this one says T9 English. If we were in Quebec, it would say T9FR, but it says T9 English. Now, if you want to change the text entry method, you push the star key. So when you push that, you'll notice it goes T9 English, but the EN is capitalized. So that's going to mean that the entire word is capitalized. If you push it again, you get the numeric keypad. If you push it again, you get ABC. If you push it again, you get ABC, but the first letter of each word is going to be capitalized. And then if you push it again, you're going to get all caps. And this is without the T9. Uh, T9 is a text entry version that kind of guesses the words that you're trying to use. So as you're typing in a word, it's going to give you some suggestions across the bottom of the screen. And you can just pick the word that you want. Whereas if you go with the ABC method, what's going to happen is you're going to have to type the word exactly. So for the letter D, you're going to push three. For the letter E, you're going to push 3-3, three, three, and for the letter F, you're going to push 3-3-3. Three, three, three. And that's just a brief look at the uh, text entry method. Now, one of the cool things I want to show you about this phone is the push to talk button is actually a programmable key. And there's quite a few things that you can use it for if you don't subscribe to ES Chat. So just for example, if we go into the app tray, and we scroll down and over and get into settings. And then we scroll down to system. And we open that up and you go down to programmable key and select it. Right now it tells me that I've got the PTT key program for voice controls. And that's a really handy thing to have for anyone who has, say, a visual impairment. Um, now, if you don't like that one, if you go into the menu, you can actually see just how many different um, options that you have for the program of this key and you can use any of these and of course you can change them anytime you like so let's just get out of that for a second and let me just show you this so if you push the PTT key and you hold it dial 587-599-3265 calling 587-599-3265 Three, two, six, five. And then we're just going to hang up because that's not a real phone number. But that gives you an idea of what you can do with the push to talk button and the, um, the voice dialing. It also has a feature called talk back, which most people find quite annoying. Um, and what that is, is that every time you do something on the phone, it speaks to you and tells you what you've done. And that's sort of accessed uh, in the same way through the settings menu. Now the XP3 does come with one camera. It's, uh, it technically looks like a front facing, but it's actually a rear facing camera because it doesn't actually work until the phone is up and it's uh, facing the rear. Now it's a five megapixel camera, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is good enough for basic snapshots for most job site things. Uh, it's not the kind of thing you're gonna take on vacation to use as your main camera for your holiday pictures, but for work, it does a pretty good job and it also has an optional zoom feature on it. Now there's three other keys on this uh, keypad that are programmable, and that's the down, the center, and the up button. So to get to those, if you push the menu button and you select home screen shortcuts, these are all of the apps that you can attach to any of the um, any of these three buttons. So basically you pick the one that you like. Um, if you wanted to launch your calendar, you simply push that. And now the up navigation key will launch your calendar. If you scroll down, the default for the center key is messages. But again, you can choose something different. So we could say contacts and choose that. And that's how you program those three keys. Now, for those of you who've been around for a while and you've seen other rugged uh, flip phones in the past, 
This one looks and feels a lot like some of the uh, Iden phones. Um, and as with any Sonom phone, it has an incredible warranty. So it is covered for three years of unconditional uh, wear and tear. So basically, no matter what goes wrong with this thing, uh, with the exception of loss or theft, it's going to be covered by warranty. And that really helps to keep your uh, costs down on your fleet of phones. So it looks like a terrific little phone. I've only had it for a couple of days. I'm going to be doing a more thorough investigation into this phone. And I'll have some future videos coming up in the uh, in the next few weeks but it launches in Canada on August the 9th like I say it's been out in the States for about three months now if you need a rugged flip phone for voice and text this is the way to go so if you like the video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions reach out to me uh, through the comments section and I'll do my best to get back to you thanks for watching